Hi, welcome to the Don's Cooking. Today we make something very different. I call it Cilagne. Basically it's a fusion of Mexican and Italian. So I make a chili con carne lasagne, the name. If you want to put a lovely twist on, in your cooking, you can do these things for your boyfriend, your girlfriend. I think for your girlfriend works better. So this dish is for four or five people and I use 750 grams of beef and pork and mince, fresh coriander, two um, onions, three cloves of garlic, nice chopped, uh, two red peppers, because I like it, uh, red kidney beans, then two cans, and then passata, chili sauce is, I, I like the taste, so far you can use anything. One cube of beef stock or veg, as long as you wanna use any stock. Uh, ground cumin, smoked paprika, turmeric, tortillas, red leesta, and in the end, some nachos sprinkled on top. So, now it's time to cook, no? So a splash of mama oil, too quite high, so I want to, I want to, uh, we can uh, fry off garlic and, um, and onion. So we put inside the, the onion and the garlic, put together in it. So we just put, the mama used to, used to uh, beat me up on the top. If you want to speed up the process, you can put some fruit in the onion. So you set it down, you add the onion to, um, to lose the water. So now we put the meat inside. Put the meat inside, like that, open up. Cook a bit the meat, yeah, by stirring it, because it's on high. If you don't feel confident, put on medium. So start to Season a bit the meat, pepper, cumin, two spoon of paprika, voila, then you break it down the meat with all the flavors inside. Like right, that, cook until it's pretty much not all cooked, so you keep the moist to mess. So breaking down all the meat. Tomato passata, tomato sauce. Call it however you want. Put it in very generously. Then mix it well. Then let's put this on. You open the, the beef stock. You push it inside. Then you get the water. Pretty much 100 ml, 120 of water, and then you cook it down for a bit. So after pretty much three minutes, four minutes, when the, the, the sauce is bubbling, you, you put the peppers. So you cook the peppers with all this flavor. So you cook it down a little bit of pretty much medium high. So, because we need to speed up. Don't, don't dry too much the sauce. That's my tip for that, because you need a little bit of wetness. Keep tasting, because uh, you, <laughs> you need to adjust the, um, the flavor. So mine, it needs more cumin. You keep it cooking a little bit, just to make the, um, the, the cumin open up all its flavor. You cook it for a for the 10 minutes after you put the, the peppers. So now is the time to put the kidney beans. Look how beautiful they are. It's uh, nearly the end of the cooking, so you don't cook much the kidney beans. Otherwise, they go mushy and uh, we don't want that. While you're cooking it, preheat the oven at around 200 degrees. So you give the start the punch. If you want to cheat a bit, to make it a bit drier, you use a bit of uh, tomato paste. You put it inside of the tomato paste, uh, so it makes thick the sauce. 
So after uh, pretty much five to ten minutes, the testing the sauce and everything for me is perfect. Keep on the side and uh, start to prepare the tortilla. Hale! You put the splash of veggies on the vegetable oil. Just a splash to go all around the, the tray like that. So you take the tortilla, you cut first in a half, yeah? Then you cut in four. So what it does, look at that. One and two. Oh mama! I did it. One and two. Doesn't matter they doesn't match, but as long as you cover all the edges all right then we can put the sauce so after you spread on all evenly I put a little bit of coriander so just a bit then you put the cheese be generous with the cheese I don't have to say that be generous spread the cheese and then repeat and uh, as you arrive at the last layer, put more, little bit more sauce, just to wet everything up. Color, let's call it color. Cheese, generous. As I say, be generous. Be, be very, very, very generous. So after you put the cheese, you open the nacho bag. You crush them on top. Oi. Um, okay, that's time for the foil. You put in the foil so everything becomes together. Yeah, all the moisture and everything. And then after that I show you the, the game changer, guys. So let me know down in the comments how it is. Let's put it in the oven. Open the oven, then put in the middle chef. Let's say 25 minutes to half an hour. So I put a little bit under 80 so it, it get all the moisture and everything together. So after uh, half an hour that it's been cooking, you pull it out. The, the nachos, you put some more on top. Then after, you put in the oven again after the, the oven is it come up to its right temperature 200 until it goes crispy and golden on top so finally it's ready to start it must be like that all right don't let's see oh whoa, whoa 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 man it needs to set down so wait a little bit let's set the lasagna for about yeah let's say 20 minutes yeah so guys now let's try mm -hmm. guys wow it's an explosion of flavors it's like somebody punching in the mouth like both so thank you for watching the don's creation and um, just like subscribe and um comment this video if you try you don't didn't try it if you want to try it just let me know what you think about it thank you ciao belly